Yo, hello everyone. Do you love playing Pokemon Go but want to enjoy it on a bigger screen? In this video, I will show you how to play Pokemon Go on your laptop PC in 2023. Using an Android emulator, we will install and set up the game and show you the process of how to play it, link your account. So, let's get started. So guys, before we get to start and play the game and show you how to do it, first of all, you have to know that Pokemon Go is a game that must be like, there is a movement, there is a changement in your location to play the game and discover Pokemons. This is the point of the game, so you can move. If you have like a PC that is like a bureau PC, which is like a PC gaming or something like that, it will not be very, very helpful for you to play the game. It will be really, really limited. In the other case, if you have a laptop, it will be much easier for you. Of course, the phone is much more smaller and better, but in your case, you'd like to play it on PC, you can do that, but on a laptop will be 10 times or 1000 times much better than like a PC that is fixed on your room. So first of all, to download, before we download the game, we have to download an emulator to help us uh, simulate the phone and install it inside of that phone. So in our case, I'm going for BlueStacks. Here we go. There is other than BlueStacks, there is also Mimo, which is another emulator. Uh, they say that it is better than BlueStacks. So here it is a comparison between all of the most famous uh, simulators. But for me, I really, really like BlueStacks. So here, as you can see, there is two versions, 10 and five. Well, 10 is made for the powerful PCs and five for low powered PC. So in case you have a really good PC, you can go for 10. In case you have a decent PC, go for five. And yeah, these are the two only options that you have. Now next click, for example, BlueStack 10, and then click on the download button through here, and then start installing it by clicking on next, next, next. And for those who are using, for example, Mimo or Nox Player, doesn't really matter because the process is the same. We just have to look in into the simulator and then I will show you the steps. So it will be the same steps, just different simulator. It's like having the same phone, but different phones at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, guys, let's meet in the next process. And now guys, as you might see, this is the application. This is BlueStacks 10. I've, after it has been successfully installed, this is how it looks like. So here you can simply go to settings. So you can go to settings through here. You can check whatever you'd like from preferences to about the language that you'd like and much more. So this is just the interface where you can search for games, uh, travel like inside of the preferences and the about. For the settings and the graphics, that's on the other launcher. That's what I'm going to show you in this video as well, when we are going to download the game. So now this is it with the launcher. So let's get to the download of the game and how to play the game section. So basically guys, now once you are done with that, what I will need you to do is go and search in here for Pokemon Go. So click over here and search for Pokemon Go. And here we go. So play on App Player. So for, for you, it will be download on App Player or find on App Player. So I will click here to play it because I have it already installed. Make sure, of course, guys, that once you try to search for it on the app player, it will open a Google Play account uh, or Google Play app. So what you have to do is enter your Gmail account. It has to be a Gmail account. And from there, it will be you will be ready to go. So the game will start to install as simple as you do on your mobile phone. So here we go. As you can see, the game is being installed. So. I will show you really quick uh, after it opens for us how you can install it through Google Play. So now let's just show you really quick that the game is working and there is no problem with it. So here it is. There will be some advertisement, of course, on the left side of the screen. And here it is the game. So it can have some bugs, some lag into your uh, like uh, emulator. For me, I will have a lot of lag since I'm using it on a weak laptop. It is not the best of kind of laptops. So I have like Ryzen 3, I have Radeon Vega graphics card. So it is not the best of the best, but overall it does the work. So for me now, launching like Pokemon Go on this laptop, it is pretty much a hard uh, thing to do. 
especially when I am recording but overall it will work for you guys so as you can see here it worked so I will just put like a random date here we go here I'm going to choose um, something to make it make sense for example this one and then submit so here I'm going to go to a new player and then you can either create an account using Facebook or Google Play or Google account or Pokemon Trainer Club so let's go with Google hello and here we go so now the game shall be open for us I'm going to with the account that I have uh, created my Gmail with and then I will log in it is as simple as that so it can have some bugs as I said since it is on an emulator which is on my PC which is super weak so let me show you real quick my prefer my PC pieces so in case you had the same pieces uh, you kind of have to know like that it will not really work that good on your PC so let me go here on this PC and then click on properties and basically these are the properties that I have on my PC I have like uh, around 12 GB of RAM but they are DDR3 I have Ryzen 3 3200 3, uh, U and I have like a really really weak uh, graphic card on this laptop of course but guys if you had like a PC a good PC you would not face any kind of problems and for those who think like how can we know what speed it was specifics specific kind of pc we need for pokemon go you can simply head up to google chrome for example here we can go here and search for pokemon go pc requirements and from here guys they will show you like uh some kind of uh, species on google so it will not have any problem so here for an optimal uh, you need like this is for phone uh for android but yeah they don't really have specific things for pcs but overall if you have like a decent pc that runs any game in like 60 fps the minimum this will work for you my pc doesn't even run league of legends on 30 fps or 12 fps it runs on 6 fps which is really really bad so yeah overall this is how you can play pokemon go and if you have a laptop you can really have the full experience of pokemon go since pokemon go is all about discovering places walking in the streets it is like a real life game so with a laptop you can simply just hold it between your hands and keep going in the streets finding pokemons and fighting other players so it is very very useful to have it on your laptop in case for example you don't have a phone at the moment you can you do the work with your laptop so let me try once more if it's gonna work for me new player create an account with google and let's see yeah it doesn't work uh i think yeah it didn't work uh since it have like a really bad pc but overall the other games really works like slow for example fifa mobile like even fifa i can't really play it on this pc but yeah this video is for people who have like at least a decent pc not like mine so yeah guys that was it for today's video thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial